Hey everyone, so thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel today. So because of like everything that's been going on in the world and everything, we have not been traveling like we used to travel like every other weekend. So we decided to go on like a tiny like one night overnight trip. So we went over to the next prefecture which is Oita and we had such a great time. our daughter to the first onsen trip that she's ever had so the kids the boys and I usually love to go to the onsen and there's a specific onsen that I like to go to when I go over to Beppu <clears throat> because they are tattoo friendly and that is like my go-to one and they just renovated it about a year ago or just over a year ago so I'm so excited we got to go um, and it was I was a little bit nervous because I've never taken a baby and I tried googling can you take a baby and is it okay and we got there and I was happy they actually added a bunch of English now so if you go they'll have it in English outside they have the prices and everything listed so that you can like match it up and know how much it'll cost yeah so we went in and we put our shoes in the basket they gave us our key we got our tickets and everything and then we went outside to take cute little pictures of my daughter before she went into the onsen and she was not having those little wooden shoes, but it was okay. So um, the boys went off into theirs and I took my son and my daughter, my youngest son and my daughter, the baby, into the girls' dressing room. It was completely changed and redone. Um, so basically we got undressed and everything and then we walked inside to like the new shower room. So of course, as soon as we walk in, I'm so used to like having to like, hurry up and hope no one sees my tattoo so I don't get kicked out. But here it's safe, but I'm just used to that mindset. So as soon as I walked in, I didn't really pay much attention. I was just like, whoa, everything changed. Okay, let's sit down and get bathed. So I just literally walked and I sat down. So I have to bathe my son, myself, and a baby uh, shower first before we can go to the onsen. So a woman walked by, a young lady, and she was like, excuse me, do you need help? I was like, um, no, I'm okay. Cause I'm thinking, is she just gonna hold my naked baby for me? <laughs> I wasn't sure. Um, so she told her mom and her mom came over and brought a baby, um, the baby bath seats that actually I use in my apartment. Um, so it was really nice. So I was able to put my daughter in it so I could shower my son, make sure he was all clean, get myself showered. And then our, my baby. Then when I go to put the seat around, seat away, I turn around and I notice there's like a large section and it says family showering or family bathing. And it basically had like two or three stools and it was like a big section. So instead of just one small mirror and then your stool and your bucket and everything. Um, yeah. So next time I will know that. So look for that when you go. It was really nice. So then you have enough room for your whole family to shower together. And then we went and we literally, my son wanted to try every single bath because he doesn't remember going here. We've been many times, but so we literally went from bath to bath to bath to bath. Now, obviously with a baby, 90% of them are a little bit too hot, I think for her. And I've been like prepping her for the onsen. So we take nice warm bath. The water was definitely really hot. Um, some onsens will actually have a sign with the temperature. So you know, like, whoa, that's gonna be too hot. This is gonna be too hot. Um, so I started off in the cooler one, which is really large. We started off there first because that one's a lot cooler and then you can go to other ones. But my main concern, TMI, but was what happens if the baby poops in the onsen? Because in America, babies poop in the pool all the time. And I asked them when I got there at reception, can I put a swimming diaper on her? And they're like, no, because you know, this is Japan. You don't wear any clothing into the onsen. But I showed them, I have a reusable swim diaper. So it has no chemicals and anything in it. Um, but they still said no. So they just said it was okay, don't worry. So I just literally was like crossing my fingers all the time. Please, 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 please don't have an accident in the onsen. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so she loved it. She was splashing a little bit, playing, smiling and waving at everybody we saw. She was making friends with other babies. Um, yeah, so she absolutely loved it. The, and the outside onsen part is really beautiful. I highly recommend it. 
it's got the waterfall and the beautiful trees you can see the stars it's really nice if it's really cold outside then it might be a little bit uh too cold for you to run around naked outside but it's really pretty and they have a free foot onsen out front which is where we got these cute little pictures taken at um but yeah she enjoyed it we had a great time then it was just hard because you have to obviously dry yourself off get in the dressing room get dressed again and then blow dry your hair do your hair all that kind of stuff um that part is a little bit tricky but the lady was really nice i think she because i had a baby she specifically gave me the locker locker right next to the um changing table so i was able to like lay my daughter in and strap her in while i got dressed really fast <laughs> and then it was like get you dressed really fast it was pretty relaxing as relaxing as it can be when you're worried about a you know small child and an in a baby at an onsen but yeah we loved it and it was really nice so thanks for tuning into this video and i'm going to be posting more soon